Insurance industry estimates U.S. businesses have been bleeding a trillion dollars a month in losses. Small businesses especially have been hard hit. Across the nation, they've turned to their insurers, hoping after years of paying on business disruption policies, it would pay off. But when four barber shops in Texas sued State Farm for denying their claims, the federal judge last week sided with State Farm, ruling coronavirus does not cause the physical damage necessary to trigger the coverage. State Farm told us, we accept the court's sound decision since we do not collect premiums to protect against viral pandemics. Commercial losses caused by or resulting from viruses are not covered and are in fact specifically excluded within our commercial policy. Now, insurers say their survival is at stake here. They estimate if they were forced to cover costs for just small and medium-sized businesses, it would cost $400 billion per month. They're fighting the effort in state legislatures. They're fighting in court. Washington, Michigan, New York have all seen cases decided in favor of these insurers, though a federal judge in Missouri refused to dismiss a case brought by hair salons. In the meantime, many of these small businesses have no recourse but just to close down. Tyler, Kelly? Contessa, question. I mean, look, if it's excluded, it's excluded. It would, it's excluded. It would seem to me like it's pretty black and white. But what I wonder, too, is if there's any wiggle room, you know, whether these policies are new or if they have a longstanding relationship, if there's anything the insurance company could do, not that they might want to, um, but if that makes a difference. Yeah, you know, uh, it's interesting, Kelly, because analysts have been looking at Cincinnati Financial because they didn't, as a standard, include virus exclusions. They still say if there's no physical damage, no problem. Inside this business, Front Street Tavern, he says he's got a policy with Hartford, and he's friends with the local broker who sold him the policy, and the broker told him, you know what, don't even bother trying.